the school of aquaponics. I'm super tired right now, man. Super tired. Been up since about 2 a.m. Finishing up some touches on um, uh, on the book that I'm writing, the Aquaponic God's Manual. Um, and right now it's about 7.30, so I got about five, five and a half hours of sleep, which is a little less than I usually get. Um, so I'm a little exhausted now. I haven't really fully recovered. Um, right now I got to go pick up pick up my daughter she stays about an hour and 15 minutes away pick her up spend half the week with her so it's gonna get pretty crazy um, she's three years old so it's always hard being like a single father and um, you know having a, a young child so it's gonna get wild but you know I'm gonna bring you guys along a little bit show you guys some of the things on the, um, the, some of the daily routine um, I'm gonna start showing you guys a little bit more a little bit more insight on what's going on uh, bring you guys along so um, yeah that's that's pretty much it right now I'm um, just working long hours tired exhausted I know some of you guys can understand you know it's just part of life so that being said I'm gonna get ready to get up out of here pick up my daughter and get ready for the uh, to have her and enjoy her time and and be driven crazy Woo! Okay. Woo! All right, so I finally picked up my daughter. Getting ready to make our way back. Hour and 20 minute drive back. Hour and 15, 20 minute drive back. And we're gonna figure out the rest of our day. Probably take her somewhere um, to go play. And um, run a few errands. Yeah, you. But before we go anywhere, I need to show you guys that there's a thief lurking around here. There's a food thief lurking around here. And it was my fault because I left the food out last night. I had just got some fresh, a fresh batch, well, a few fresh batches of feed. Left it out. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. Was in there editing um, so the, the book. Just for, totally forgot about the feed. Came out here and this is what happened. This is what the freak I saw. Just bought this feed too. Just got here yesterday. This one. And also it came over here. And it got a hold of this one as well. Tore the bag open. Now, usually what I do is when I get the feed, I put it up, I put it in a bucket, one of the five gallon buckets, and I'll close it off with the lid. I just so happened to forget to do it last night, and that's the same night that the thief came to rob. Now, I see some footprints here. Go ahead and whip this out, man. Right there. Footprints about an inch and a half long. It's a possum, ladies and gentlemen. The possum is the robber. He's the culprit. The possum. It's guaranteed that it's the possum. Then I can look over here. So he... I'm seeing that he might have came over here, tore his bag up. He said, man, this stuff is too small for me to eat on. So then he worked his way. Couldn't get through this. Couldn't get through this. This is already boxed off. Then he worked his way over here to the big dog stuff. And he said, this is what I want. Start tearing these up. The possum has been harassing me and terrorizing me every, for the past three, four years that I've been here. So... You know, this is just a lesson. You got to make sure that you do not keep your food out where any animals can get a hold of it because they will definitely get through it. I mean, that's what they spend their whole life doing is searching for food. So they're like the masters of, of this stuff. Um, yeah, man, I'm a little upset, man. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even going to lie. I'm a little upset, mostly at myself, because I can't believe I forgot to put this up. This is something so simple and basic. But... I still have this preserved, this one right here, but you know, this one right, and, I mean, I guess it's not that bad. I didn't really need this one that much, but this is the one I was mostly worried about, and this one, these two feeds here. So, hey, another lesson learned. Just another part of, uh, of experience with aqu aquaponics.
So this feed right here, this part, this part, this is probably like maybe a dollar's worth of food. Maybe even less than that. Maybe 50 cents to a dollar's worth of food right here. To get this up, this would probably take me, to get all of it up, probably about 15, 20 minutes. So we'll say if it's worth a dollar, a dollar's worth of food, 15, 20 minutes, that's pretty much about 25 cents an hour not worth my time so guess what i'm gonna leave it here and if the um possum comes back this is his he can take it um it's not worth my time once again so same thing with the little feet over here these little crumbs this crumbs right here that whole packet i lost the whole packet so that was about nine dollars so nine dollars divided by 60 not worth my time that's just equals that. I don't even need. To, I don't even need to do, do do the whole math on it. Not worth my time. So he can come back. He can get it. You know, it's a come up. It's the way. It's just the way it is. Animals got to eat too. So they find however they can eat. They don't care if they're tearing your stuff up or not. So you know, I got to give it to him. He caught me slipping. I left it out, and he did what he had to do. Whatever. Come on, from me, man. Come on, man. Don't run from me, man. Come here, man. Come on, man. Come give me a hug, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. It's all right. Get your behind over here. Get your behind over here right now. So look. So this is when I was telling you guys, when I was telling you guys that that possum has been terrorizing me for the past few years. He's killed, this, these possums over here have killed probably like 15, between 15 and 20 chickens that I've ever had. Which is like 90% of the chickens that I've ever had. This rooster here, he's one of the last Mohicans. He survived the attack. So he's missing a wing. His name is One Wing. So he has one wing here, one wing here, but he's missing a wing here. He don't have anything here. All he has is feathers. Feathers with no wing. So, so yeah, but you know, he survived. It, when, when he was, it happened when he was younger. I had him in a cage and I guess the cage was, it was just, it had just enough opening for his wing to stick through. And boy, did that possum take advantage of that situation. He had chicken wing, for real, real chicken wings for, uh, for, de for breakfast, lunch, or dinner, whatever it was for him. So this is one wing, nice chicken, real, real nice rooster. All right, what's going on guys? I had to get myself rejuvenated, had to take a quick nap, man. I was too tired, too burnt out. So I had to correct my mind and uh, take a nap real quick. But now we're about to get ready to go. I'm about to take her, let her flap around at this little place and called I'm Monkey. Talking to you. I'm talking to the people. People aren't talking to me, but I'm talking to the people. So we gotta let her flap around a little bit, burn off some of that energy. So when we come back, she'll be nice and settled and I'll be able to do whatever things I have to do. So. That's pretty much the update right now. It is on fire out here in Florida, man. Oh man, it feel like I'm in the lake of fire or something. It's super hot out here. All right, so I wanted to show you guys um, some of the Aquaponic God manual that I've been working on. Um, I finished it, finally finished it. Um, just getting ready to get it proofread, um, sent off. It's gonna take a few weeks for, for the, um, the proofreaders to do that getting my the book cover made I'll update you guys on that as well but just going through it um, show you some of the, the stuff on here there's a lot of formulas on here this right here it was a it, this this was a pretty exhausting um, script to write to be honest with you it was very hard and very complex to do but um, I end, eventually end up getting it done so a lot of writing uh, very exhausting like I said um, but it's just a, it's a lot of formulas in here. Just a ton of information here. A lot of, um, a lot of formulas, like I said. Um, so, so yeah, basically that's just what it is. It's a pretty, a complete manual 
for aquaponics to give everyone out there a, a pretty good grasp on how aquaponics can be done from more of a scientific point of view. Um, so total, this was probably about almost 40,000 words. This is a lot of writing, a lot of writing, man, a lot of writing. It was, like I said, it was a challenge. And I did a lot of writing in graduate school, but you know, it wasn't as intense as this. This here was more like a, like a PhD thesis. That's, that's pretty much what I would compare it to. Um, but it's a major accomplishment for me, a major accomplishment to, to be honest. Um, so, you know, I just put it together and make it helpful to, to be able to give everyone out there some added value to aquaponics as the, the, the field and the, the practice and method begins to progress. So I know a lot of you guys are definitely going to appreciate this. You guys are definitely going to appreciate it when it drops, probably going to be dropping around September. That's probably when I'm looking to drop it. Just, you know, there's still a few things to do that I have to do to it, but you know, um, it's going to be well worth the wait. So just wanted to give you guys a, a, a little insight on it. Um, let you guys know what's going on, how I update you guys on this. Um, the aquaponic guide course, you know, that's coming too, right along with this, right along with it. It's a lot of work that's going on, a lot of work that's going on. So um, I know you guys will appreciate it and you guys will be like, super happy. This is something right here that I wish I would have had when I started. I really had to tap back in to like my beginning roots to try to, to kind of um, articulate the message the way I would have wanted to receive it when I first started. Because I didn't have any idea about any of this stuff. None of this stuff. Like this stuff would have sounded foreign to me. And like when looking at references from other, you know, ag uh, agriculture, or agriculture and aquaculture um textbooks it's more so written for people who have kind of like a background in some type of scientific field so I, I had to really translate it to uh, a layman's terms to the best of my ability so you can understand exactly what you know because you know the authors they a lot of times those authors they've been doing it for so long they kind of forget what it's like to be at the beginning to have someone that's not that doesn't really understand you know it's more a technical so I really try to I'm, I'm I really try to tap back into that because I'm not too far off from that. You know, I've been doing it for about six years, so it wasn't too hard for me to really tap back into that mindset when I first started from ground zero. So that's kind of what went into this um, went into this text. So you know, it's a lot. It's a lot of good stuff in here. A lot of good information in here. I'm telling you, it's definitely world class. World class aquaponic information in here. This is the e official. The official manual the official guide to aquaponics that's what the name of it is it's the aquaponic guides manual the official guide to aquaponics so you guys be on the lookout that look out uh be on the lookout for that because it's going to be dropping soon and i will definitely keep you guys updated let you guys see all the cover and everything before it even drops all right guys i'm gonna go ahead and end this vlog right here um it's about 9 13 right now p.m um just probably gonna go ahead and uh, edit a few more things on the um, on the manual. Then probably edit this video here, um, and then I'll probably do a little bit of reading, go through, check some emails, do a, a respond to a few emails here and there, um, and then get myself prepared, correct my brain before going to sleep. Um, and that's probably gonna. I always tell myself that I want to get to sleep around twelve o'clock, but that never happens. It's usually one, two, three, sometimes even four o'clock at nighttime. Like right now, nighttime is when I'm the most productive when it comes to working and getting things done. Like I'm just a nighttime guy. So 12 o'clock is like, I always tell myself that that's why I woke up this morning. Uh, I went to sleep this, uh, this morning at two o'clock. I knew I wanted to go to sleep earlier to go pick up my daughter, but it just never happens that way, man. It's just, I don't know what it is, man. I just got myself accustomed to that nighttime lifestyle. So, um, but whatever it is, what it is. Um, it doesn't, it doesn't bother me at all. So just go ahead and edit, edit a few things, touch up some stuff here, here and there, and then, you know, get ready to correct my brain before going to sleep, you know, and that is usually like a one hour wind down time where I'm just looking at random stuff like on YouTube and stuff like that. Just look at random stuff just to correct my brain, get it out of, um, you know, aquaponic God mode and, and work and stuff like that. So that's pretty much what it ended up uh, being. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. Be on the lookout for the Aquaponic Guides Manual. Definitely be on the lookout for that and for the Aquaponic Guide course. 
definitely be on the lookout for that. And I will see you, ladies and gentlemen, next time.